Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Bilal from University of Engineering and Technology, Texla, and my research topic is classification of EMG signals for assessment of neuromuscular disorder using empirical mode decomposition and logistic regression. The contents include introduction of neuromuscular disorder, review of previous studies, proposed method of classification, results, and conclusion. So let's start with the introduction of neuromuscular disorder that is ALS. ALS or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis is a progressive paralytic neurodegenerative disease that affects motor neurons in both the brain and spinal cord. The word amyotrophic literally means no muscle nourishment. The motor neurons die due to progressive degeneration and brain lost its ability to communicate with muscles. As a result, muscles get weakened and patients in the later stages of the disease get totally paralyzed and lose the ability to walk, talk, swallow or even breathe. According to American Association of ALS, every day an average of 15 people are newly diagnosed with ALS and more than 30,000 Americans are currently affected by this disease. It normally gives person a very short time of 2 to 5 years to live from time of diagnosis and it cost a family about 0.15 to 0.25 million during the course of disease. And despite serious efforts, no cure is currently available for ALS. As I said earlier, the average life expectancy of a person with ALS is just 2 to 5 years. But here is a legendary physicist, Stephen Hawking, who lived for more than 5 decades after diagnosis and he is the longest living ALS survivor. He is an inspiration for ALS patients and also an inspiration in the field of science as ALS couldn't stop him from writing most incredible theories of cosmology and general relativity while confined to a wheelchair. As ALS doesn't have any single known cure, the only thing we can do is early and accurate detection of disease that helps in designing proper treatment to add a few years in patient's life. In this regard, a systematic analysis of electromyographic signal is made for classification of ALS patients and normal person. Electromyography or EMG is a technique for recording electrical signals produced by motor neurons in muscles. There are two techniques used to record EMG signals. First one is surface EMG in which surface electrodes are used to record a limited amount of electrical activity from the surface above the muscle and needle EMG in which fine needle is inserted into the muscle to record a more complex EMG signal. The design of an accurate classification system becomes challenging due to the huge variability of EMG signals within a class. This variability is introduced in EMG signal when it is taken from different muscles and with different level of needle insertion. These are few most recent research studies made to classify EMG signals. In 2013, ASWASI used discrete wavelet transform to decompose EMG signal. Statistical features are then extracted from decomposed levels and fed to PSO optimized support vector machine. In the same year, SFATE used wavelet based features along with K nearest neighbor classifier. And a year later, he uses MFCC as features with the same classifier to reduce complexity. In 2016, VK Mishra developed a computationally efficient system that uses a small feature vector to fed extreme learning machine classifier. Statistical features with neural network was used by N. Singer in 2017 and most recently two stage cascaded SVM and bagging and symbol classifiers were used to achieve better accuracies. The proposed system of classification includes pre-processing stage where we use empirical mode decomposition to remove baseline noise or motion artifacts from raw EMG signal. Then a powerful feature vector consisting of statistical features and spectral features were extracted from pre-processed signal. Lastly, these features were fed to support vector machines and logistic regression classifier to obtain best classification results. The proposed system makes no prior assumption about conditions of signal acquisition and can handle wide variabilities within an EMG signal. For experimental purposes, 
we use publicly available data set which is a part of Nicolix PhD thesis and is available on amglab.net. In this database, the normal group consists of data acquired from 10 healthy subjects including 4 females and 6 males that have aged between 21 to 37 years. According to their medical history, all of them had good physical health with no symptoms of ALS. ALS class consists of 8 patients with equal number of male and female subjects aged from 35 to 67 years with clear sign of ALS. The data acquired from 7 muscles such as brachial bicep, abductor pollicis and vastus medulli etc. And from each muscle 5 different places were used for data acquisition. Needle EMG was used with 3 different levels of needle insertion and constant level of contraction was maintained during signal acquisition. The most common type of noise that causes irregularities in EMG signal is baseline noise. Baseline noise or motion artifacts are low frequency components that are introduced into EMG signal by the movement of cables used for data acquisition. In order to remove motion artifacts from EMG data, we use empirical mode decomposition that decomposes a complex data into finite number of intrinsic mode functions. Intrinsic mode functions or IMF are representation of a signal in different time scales that have different bandwidth. As shown by the equation, EMD decomposes raw EMG signal into n IMFs and a final residual. Final residual is something that left behind in signal after the extraction of IMFs and it contains lowest frequencies. These are IMFs and it can be seen that each successive IMF contain lower frequency oscillations than the preceding one. The denoised EMG signal is just the linear sum of first n minus m IMFs. For signal classification system to exhibit better performance, feature extraction plays critical role. Considering this fact, we made extensive experimentation to figure out a powerful feature vector. This feature vector consists of time domain features including mean, kurtosis, peak to peak, shape factor, energy, jitter and zero crossing rate. The spectral features include spectral skewness, kurtosis, centroid, flux, roll off, flatness, crust, decrease, slope and spectral spread. And lastly, mel frequency sepstral coefficient were also extracted making a feature vector of 31 features. SVM or Sport Vector Machine is a supervised learning algorithm that can classify linearly non-separable data by making a hyperplane or a combination of hyperplanes in a high dimensional space. SVMs are based on the idea of finding a hyperplane that best divides the data into two classes. SVM separates the two classes through a hyperplane while maximizing the margin between the two sport vectors. Sport vectors are the points in data set that are nearest to hyperplane. For classification of linearly non-separable data, SVM introduces two concepts, soft margin and kernel trick. Soft margin try to find a hyperplane to separate data while tolerating a few misclassified dots. And kernel trick transform the existing feature vector into a new one to find a non-linear decision boundary. The most common functions for transformation are sigmoid, polynomial and radial basis function. Logistic regression is a technique borrowed by machine learning from the field of statistics and it describes and estimates the relation between a dependent binary variable and other independent variables. Unlike linear regression where the outputs are continuous numeric values, the output of a logistic regression is categorical in nature. Logistic regression transforms its output using logistic sigmoid function to return a probability value which can then be mapped to two or more discrete classes. These are the results of both the classifiers. We train and test both classifiers using features extracted from 900 samples with five-fold cross-validation. For evaluation purposes, statistical parameters including sensitivity, specificity, f mayer and total classification accuracy are used. For comparison, we consider three approaches that use the same publicly available dataset of EMG lab. It can be seen that the proposed method shows reliable performance as compared to previous studies. The proposed diagnostic system can be used in clinical applications as it can handle wide variability 
in EMG signals. And the result of evaluation parameters clearly shows the feasibility of proposed system in clinical applications. The system can be used as diagnostic decision support system that assists doctors in making decisions about ALS disease. In the future, we are looking to acquire our own data set using surface EMG signal from ALS patients in Pakistan. The classification can be extended to other neuromuscular disorders like myopathy. Moreover, efforts can be made to increase computational efficiency by reducing feature vector while having no compromise on accuracy. These are the references. That's all from my side. Thank you.